Hi everyone, I'm working on getting through this jungle of watercress and I accidentally pull out one of the okra. So sorry, I have to put it back in. So there's a lot of watercress and mint that is choking out my um, beans and okra plants. So I'm trying to work as best as I can to remove them without hurting the bean plants and hopefully um, these beans will grow and thrive and produce some beans shortly. Here is the okra, okra plant going back in. I hope it's going to make it. I hope I didn't hurt it so too badly. Now I'm going to support these bean plants with uh, a piece of twine. I think this might do the trick too, just to give it some support. There's not much light uh, in this area, so the beans are a little leggy. This is the first time I'm trying to grow beans in the aquaponic system. This is a start, not completely done yet, but I'm satisfied for now. While I'm out here, I might as well pull out these celery plants. They're getting really bitter and, and tough. So um, I'm going to pull them out and I already planted some new celery in the other grow bed and they are growing really well so I've been harvesting from those. These uh, are not as hard to pull out as you think considering they've been in this grow bed for a while now. Um, it only takes a few minutes to pull out all six plants and I'm going to replace them with some beets. I grow the beets more for their greens, for their leaves, than uh, for the roots. I like the roots too, but um, the beets leaves are very productive in aquaponic systems. So um, there they are. Not too bad for a few minutes of work this morning, but it's getting hot out here. So I'm going to go back inside. But before I do that, I'm going to show you this loofah plant that's been trying to get out of that mess of uh, watercress. It is growing really fast. And another look at the beans before I go. I noticed some flowers and some baby beans here. So I'm looking forward to harvesting some beans very soon. I'm happy I took a few minutes to clear out the beds a little bit. Well, that's all I have for this morning. Thank you so much for watching. And if you liked this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And if you like to keep updated on what's going on in my yard and also at our school garden, please remember to subscribe. Thank you so much. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.